Should we fear the Delta variant? Uh, absolutely. I mean, given how quickly it is spreading, it should be a concern because it can destabilize even countries that have done a pretty good job vaccinating. So for that reason, I think all these warnings are reasonable and it's an extra push to get people vaccinated and to help people and others understand uh, the importance right. of vaccination. Great. Rah, rah. We're going to do it. Celebrities will step in and say, get vaccinated, et cetera. Or do we need corporations, sporting events, et cetera, to say enough? You got to be vaccinated if you want to participate. I, I imagine that is going to happen, particularly as the vaccines move from the authorization, authorization stage to getting licensed. I think it'll become more of a standard in this country, given the very uh, strong safety record that they have and the fact that they'll be fully licensed. I think that probably is going to happen more and more. Dr. Sharfstein, you said that the Delta variant could destabilize countries, even that have high rates of vaccination among the population. Can you elaborate? Well, I think countries that have very high rates of vaccination are going to be protected. But countries that have pretty high rates, you can see now even the United Kingdom cases going up and even uh, the sign that deaths may be going up. The United States, where we have states with relatively middling levels of vaccination, we're going to be particularly vulnerable. We'll see meaningful outbreaks. And uh, if not the fall, maybe even this summer in some places based on just how transmissible this virus is. And, you know, hospitals will start to fill up again. Well, Dr. Sharfstein, there's a distinction between uh, destabilizing nations that have vaccinated individuals because those vaccinated individuals are getting sick from the Delta variant, as certain news reports out of Israel showed over the weekend, versus just being more prevalent among those who are not vaccinated. I mean, can you give us a sense of the risks on the other side, even for vaccinated individuals? The, the risks are much less for vaccinated individuals. So vaccinated individuals can still get sick. They can still get very sick, but it is pretty rare. But, you know, we should care about how the entire state, the entire country is doing. And by that metric, we should all be worried because it is true that people who are unvaccinated are particularly vulnerable. And, you know, these, these viruses can cause serious damage, even among young people. Okay, but Dr. Sharfstein, we have this with other illnesses, too. And this is where it comes to the threshold of when we start treating COVID, like uh, just another virus that we have to deal with, like the flu, uh, like other common colds that people get. There is a question at what point we cross the Rubicon, where people have vaccinations available. If we're not seeing the high hospitalization rates, we're it's okay, and we can't necessarily just restrict travel and restrict business activity. When do we cross that line? Well, I think first, from a public health perspective, you have to realize the amount of illness and death that we're potentially vulnerable to, for example, in the United States, is enormous and would swamp uh, normal flu, uh, flu season. So we're not talking about flu in the sense of the number of deaths if we don't get more people vaccinated. So, you know, from a public health perspective, that, that's one thing. So if, on the other hand, we want to say, okay, from a, you know, social perspective, we're willing to say, you know, it's all on you, we're still going to be spending a lot of money for, um, for uh, hospitals. Mm -hmm. It's going to affect how our healthcare system operates. It potentially could make people, even who are vaccinated, afraid to go out and uh, spend money in the economy. So, you know, the fundamental dynamics haven't shifted. We're all better off yeah. if we can control the total amount of illness out there. But Joshua, what's so important here is Lisa Bramowitz's kids have already started their reading for fall. I mean, they got a reading list of like 14 yeah. books. It's Roblox. June and they're already, already into it as well. Dr. Sharfstein, can you say that our assumed school return is in jeopardy because of the Delta variant? Um, I think it's premature to say that. I'm, cur I'm curious uh, what age you're talking about for your kids, but, you know, for it's, adolescents. It's, you don't want to know. Okay. Um, are, are particularly, you know, now able to get vaccinated. I think um, that'll be obviously very helpful. You know, we're going to have to see. There's always been, you know, a, a, a little bit of a question mark with exactly what the virus is going to do. Um, but... I do think that in certain areas where the vaccination rates are overall low, we um, are at risk for serious outbreaks. And in those areas, um, you know, it may be that uh, different kinds of measures are going to be needed, particularly this fall.